736 million people in the world live below the international poverty line of $1.90 a day. AI is being widely used in multiple industries, but can it help us solve the problems that matter the most? Today, we're going to discuss the top five uses of AI in alleviating poverty. Welcome to 5 Minutes 5 Ideas. I'm your host, Samanvet. AI and data science is commonly used to improve revenues for enterprises and companies that are already cash rich. But can AI help us solve some of the biggest social problems in the world. Originally from a country that is severely affected by poverty, it's very interesting to me how AI can be used to solve global poverty. Let's find out. The first use of AI in alleviating poverty is the use of satellite imagery to monitor rate of development and to identify areas that are affected by poverty. A group of researchers at Stanford University have started using deep learning neural networks to identify the best predictors of poverty based on satellite imagery data and poverty distribution data. One such predictor is the presence of nightlife. But the deep learning algorithms use a number of other features that allow it to predict areas of poverty 81 to 99% more accurate than models that solely use nightlife as an indicator for economical well-being. As you can see, these algorithms can be used to first identify areas that are in need of aid. The second use of AI is in alleviating poverty is to figure out the efficacy of anti-poverty programs. As I mentioned previously, satellite imagery can be used to figure out the rate of development in a particular area afflicted by poverty. So similarly, it can be used to measure whether or not anti-poverty programs are working as expected. Anti-poverty programs can include financial aid in the form of welfare, development aid and debt relief, as well as agricultural investment and programs for women empowerment. The third use of AI in alleviating poverty is using it to improve crop yields. According to World Bank, 65% of poor working adults make a living through agriculture. So therefore, investment in agriculture is four times more effective in reducing poverty as opposed to other economical investments. Researchers at Carnegie Mellon University have started an initiative called Farm View. This helps farmers in India, Ethiopia and Nigeria improve the yield of the crop sorghum. This crop is special due to its heat tolerant and drought resistant characteristics. To improve the yield of a certain crop, farmers have to manually figure out which characteristics contribute to a higher yield. So therefore, Farm View helps the farmer by automating that process. Now there's many other uses of AI in agriculture and I've previously covered them in another video. So if you're interested in finding out more, I'll link it here. The fourth use of AI in alleviating poverty is through natural disaster response. Each year, the World Health Organization predicts that up to 160 million people will be affected by a natural disaster. And out of these, 26 million people will be forced below the poverty line. Geophysicist Paul Johnson at the Los Alamos National Laboratory and his team are working on a machine learning techniques using the differences and similarity in historic earthquake data to predict the occurrence of an earthquake earlier and with higher accuracy. This helps in evacuating residents before an earthquake occurs and also identify the most earthquake prone areas so that aid can be distributed more effectively and that the relevant infrastructure can be reinforced accordingly. These factors help prevent more people from going below the poverty line as it helps highlight exactly who needs the aid when. The final use of AI in alleviating poverty is through providing tailored education. Obtaining an adequate amount of education is strongly linked with a higher probability of a person being able to get out of poverty. AI-based education systems are an impactful way of providing cost-effective education to rural areas. The use of an AI algorithm can also allow us to tailor the education based on the student's level. So this is extremely helpful in poverty stricken areas where in a particular classroom you might find students with varying abilities. Hope you learned how AI can be extremely useful in solving some of our biggest social problems. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.